Mansfield is looking to technology to help with rescues in the bay. And one of the biggest issues they faced there in the past is locating like a boat that's in trouble. Channel 5 Steven Sarabia tells us how drones could be the answer. Right now, the port works with local fishermen to help these stranded vessels. And those who go out to search say it's a problem they see too often. It's a sight this fisherman sees all too often. Weekly, almost daily, you see somebody getting pulled in with another boat. Todd Grubert is a charter fisherman in Port Mansfield. He regularly works with the local police department to rescue these stranded boats. Port Mansfield currently doesn't have its own vessel, so we've had to utilize different opportunities to be able to address that. The reason the port relies on fishermen like Grubert is also due to their location. Our proximity to Coast Guard and other resources and assets are a long distance away. So having the right information as quickly as possible saves lives. Grubert tells us sometimes these rescues aren't as easy as they seem. They can get one number wrong on their coordinates and they can be coordinates across the world. I mean, it's just got to be dead on numbers. So, you know, it happens a lot. Both Grubert and May say in some cases the person stranded may not even have their GPS coordinates. This is where the drone comes in, or in this case, flies. Having that eye in the sky, having that technology above head, you're able to find it quicker, give them the proper coordinates. What type of emergency is it? We want to make sure you're, not only that you can respond, is that it's an appropriate response. Is it an oil spill? Is it an overturned vessel? Today, the port, along with Texas A&M Corpus Christi, tested how they can utilize a drone equipped with a radar to locate boats in the bay. Their goal is to help people like Grubert make rescues. Grubert recommend, recommends if you do plan to hit the waters, bring something that can track your location and tell someone where you plan to go before you head out. He says it will help authorities locate you in the case of an emergency. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 6. A note to Stephen's report, the drone program actually started three years ago as an agreement with a port in the Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Today they sent two drones out over the bay to see if they could be used in a real life scenario. The drones tr use radar to help track what's happening on the water, specifically boats. And Port Director Ron Mills says this technology will come in handy at the port. Either our, our entities or even local citizens, local fishermen can go help each other out, which now if somebody makes a call out, it's a matter of got to go find them. The port has not spent any money on this project yet. Mill says they will review the data that they receive from these drones and go from there.